And, and there really is no e shortcuts or easy way. If you want to do this, if you want to make it right, you're going to have to put the time and the effort into it to make it work. You know, you're not going to just be able to write a few letters and then send some money. She's going to come over here and you're going to live happily ever after. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> But one of the things that I do and been doing for almost 20 years is to help guys navigate their way through the dating process, especially the international introductions. And whether it's our site, someone else's, whether it's international, whether it's dating, we get tons and tons of questions from guys. And we're always happy to, to answer them and to help. And you know, I got one today and I thought I would just talk about it a little bit on the blog because you know, the gentleman emailed me and said, look, I think that I might be getting scammed. You know, this woman asked for money and she wasn't from our site, but it doesn't really matter whether it's from our site or someone else's, you really should never send money to anyone. And if you really feel like you have to do that, then call and talk to us about it. In this specific case, the woman had asked him for money. He had already sent like $900. And again, she wasn't from our site, so I can't really do any research into exactly what you know, her background is, I'm just going by what he's telling me. And, and, and it's the usual age old scam basically from where, you know, she was gonna get a visa, come and see him. Of course, he had never gone over and met her. He was only writing through some other site out there. And, you know, she said that in order to get the visa, she needed, you know, like $1,800. And she was gonna put up 900 of her own money cause she was gonna sell her rings and her grandmother's old diamond ring that she got on her grandmother's deathbed. But she was gonna sell all or pawn all these so that, you know, she can get the money to come see him. And he just needed to send the other $900 so that, you know, she can get the rest of the money. And so unfortunately, it looks like he did send that money to her. And of course, now she's asking for more money. Now she sent the copy of the visa, but you know, I am sure that it's just something that was Photoshopped and it's not real. And guys, it's easy. If you ever get in a situation like that, all you gotta do is call up the embassy and ask them, say, look, I have this a visa from this woman. Here's a visa number. Can you at least tell me if this is legitimate or not? And they'll tell you. So guys, if this ever happens to you, at least call us talk to us about us. We've been doing this for 20 years. We have a ton of very successful couples. I met my wife through this service. It works very well, but there's always, always, always going to be people that out there, they're going to try and take advantage of you. And in this case, I believe that this gentleman's getting taken advantage of and, and we're telling him so, and you know, he'll probably never get his $900 back. And I'm sure he'll never see this woman if she even exists, but you know, at least he's not going to send more. And maybe something like this, and this is why I'm doing the blog right now, something like this might help others out there from ending up in the same situation. So, you know, guys, you probably wouldn't go on a local dating site and if someone asked you for money, send it to them. There's no reason to do that on an international site either. Just not necessary. You know, we've been doing this for so many years and there's so many nice, wonderful, sincere women out there that would never ask for anything like this. And normally when this does happen, something like this, and again, this was on another site, so I really don't know the whole background, but my guess is it's probably not even a real profile. It's probably just, you know, an organized attempt from a few people that are out there trying to prey on, on guys out there and who are just looking for an easy way, right? And, and part of it is our problem too, because we just want the easy way out. And, and there really is no e shortcuts or easy way. If you want to do this, if you want to make it right, you're going to have to put the time and the effort into it to make it work. You know, you're not gonna just be able to write a few letters and then send some money. She's gonna come over here and you're gonna live happily ever after. It just doesn't work that way. You're gonna have to go over and you're gonna have to meet her first. You want to go over and to meet her, to meet her family, to meet her friends, to see what life is like there. You know, normally it's very difficult for these women to get tourist visas to come here anyway. So normally you do have to go over there, but that's a good thing. You wanna go and you wanna spend time. You wanna see how they live and then if everything's going well, then you can work on getting a visa, usually a fiance visa, and bring her back over here and she can spend time with you before you get married. And that's normally the way that these things are gonna work. So there's not a lot of shortcuts out there, but if you're really interested in doing it the right way, you know, come to the site, start reading all the information on the site, look at the way that the successful guys have done it, and, and it can work for you, it really can. You too can experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at 
mexico-women.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Thank you.